Public worship outlawed. Christian speech restricted. The church driven underground. Those who think it can't happen here could learn from Blessed Miguel Pro, a Mexican Catholic priest and martyr who knew firsthand that religious freedom can be crushed even in a majority Catholic nation like Mexico. During his ministry there in the late 1920s, clandestine stories of the young priest's bravery became quite popular, but he was known as much for his humor and playfulness as for his courage. According to one story, Father Pro threw off a government spy by leaping into a passing carriage and throwing his arms around the passenger, a young woman. The bewildered spy passed by, unwilling to interrupt a young couple in the throes of love. As another story has it, when Father Pro got word that the Federalists were coming to stop a secret mass, he quickly finished, slipped out of his vestments, and dodged out the back door just as the police arrived. A moment later, he came barging in the front door just behind them, dressed in the uniform of one of their superiors. You slowpokes, why have you not caught this priest, he shouted. After him! And he drove them from the house, frantic to obey his orders and avoid punishment. It's hard to tell for sure if all the stories are true, but we do know the final chapter of his life for sure. Why? Because ahead of Father Pro's execution, the wicked president of Mexico ordered that the priest's murder be photographed and recorded in detail, and the pictures published in all the newspapers, as a warning meant to destroy Catholic morale. But when the moment came, Father Pro made a few quick-witted decisions that would change the course of history. He refused to wear the customary blindfold and looked the firing squad in the eye. He gripped a rosary in one hand, a crucifix in the other. He stood tall and defiant, arms outstretched in imitation of our Lord on the cross, and just before the shots rang out, he shouted, Long live Christ the King! the battle cry of the Cristeros militias who fought the regime. The story spread, the photographs were published, and it had the opposite of the intended effect. 60,000 attended Father Pro's funeral, and the heroic Cristeros went on to fight harder than ever, carrying newspaper cutouts of Father Miguel Pro into battle. Pope St. John Paul II beatified the priest in 1988, and mark your calendars, November 23rd is Blessed Miguel Pro's feast day. This has been an episode of CVTV. Subscribe to CVTV on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and sign up at catholicvote.org loop.